Hey class, I'm going to show you how I did the import users function with Active Directory and the Excel spreadsheet that we were given in the class resources. The first thing I'm going to show you is my import folder that's on my desktop of my host machine. This isn't the virtual machine yet. I have that original Excel file with the configurations that I made to the different cells. So here we have the people's full name correction yeah the full name there might be spaces in between first middle last uh, I trimmed out any extra spaces in column B you still have the full name column C is the first name which takes uh, what it sees over here as the first word and from the first space to the left returns that word so first name the middle name crazy calculation but it basically looks at the spaces between the first middle and last names and where it finds the two spaces it takes the middle word out and returns it as the middle name and then the last name in column E takes all the characters from the right side of the word the right side of the cell and moves left until it finds the first space and keeps only those characters to the right of that in column F I concatenated the first name added a period and then the last name to make the usernames uh, I, I realized that even though I did this uh, there are duplicate names throughout this here document so you're gonna see that pop up as an error when we actually run it in PowerShell column G is all the random passwords I had set up for each person every time I do something different on this Excel document those passwords were cha will change and then column H is dependent on column I column I lists all my organizational units for my company and I have four sites for my company so I've got four of them here and in this column H it will randomly select one of those OU's and apply it for that particular user so that's what I did for the Excel spreadsheet in order for PowerShell to be able to read this stuff I have to save this as a CSV so I'm going to go to file save as saving it on my import folder that I'm in I'm gonna click on save as type and come on down to CSV comma delimited it's gonna give me an error saying I'm gonna lose some features that's okay doesn't matter alright I'll save that and close it and so now in my original import folder I have three files the users uh, Excel spreadsheet I just messed with the user CSV that I just exported and my PowerShell file uh, before I open the PowerShell file let me just show you what the CSV looks like uh, I'm gonna open it with notepad and it just looks like a bunch of garbage I know in notepad but it's using all those cells where those cells go from one to the other uh, it uses commas as delimiters and this is how PowerShell is going to read this. All right, that PowerShell file, if, if you have Windows 10, you should have PowerShell on your computer, I would assume. Uh, so you should be able to open this with Windows PowerShell and you can, or PowerShell ISE specifically, and you should be able to see what's in this uh, PowerShell file. From the top, you'll see that what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that users.csv file to do this and we are going to move all of this to the uh, server which is the guest machine in VMware all right so that's where we're going to draw everything from these are all the variables we're going to use uh, username password first name last name organizational unit I, I didn't come up with emails for everybody yet and what happens is we're going to take that full list and we're going to try to apply all these attributes to them within Active Directory if a user already exists you'll see this warning a user account has already been exist or already created that's gonna happen like I said there's a whole bunch of duplicate names uh, in that sheet but this is just showing you how we get a lot of men at one time all right I'm not gonna do anything here because I'm still on my host machine I'll go ahead and close that uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it real quick and open up my server in VMware okay so now that I'm in my server if you don't like I should be able to cop paste this in here 
Okay, so I pasted that folder from my host computer to my guest computer. If you don't have that option, I do believe you need to go to uh, Preferences and Workspace. Check Enable All Shared Folders by default, and that should allow you to copy from your host into your virtual machine and from virtual machine to virtual machine if you so choose to do that. Okay, so here I'll open up my import folder. It will open. There we go. Slide that over to the left. All right, I don't have Excel on my guest machine, which is why it doesn't show the Excel icon on this guy. But it doesn't matter. We're not going to use that. Remember, we're going to use the or the user's CSV file. And again, I can open that Notepad on my guest machine to look at it. And for testing purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a lot of these names just so you can see a few of them go on. Then we'll load everybody else. So what I'll do is I'll copy and paste this. And where it's users, I'll edit that again. And starting from here, I'll go all the way down. Delete all these users. And we'll load just these people for the time being. I'll save that. Okay, now here's a kind of important part. This, this got me for a while. I'm going to open up PowerShell ISE on my server machine, the virtual one. But I need to open it as an administrator. I ran this so many times, and I kept getting access denied uh, when I ran this. And I thought I had done something horribly wrong, but it turns out I wasn't running this as an administrator. So make sure you do that. I don't really I'm gonna close that. All right. So when PowerShell ISE opens up, it'll open up something like this. I'm going to open up that user's PS1 file. All right. So from desktop, import, my Windows shell, PowerShell file. Again, it shows me the contents of what I want to do here. This console window at the bottom in blue is going to return the output or show you anything that's happening as it runs. Okay. Remember, I took off a whole bunch of names from the users list. I am importing from C, users, administrator, site one, desktop, import, users.csv. It's important that when you make your file path, wherever you save this file, if you chose to use it, that there are no spaces anywhere in this file path. I ran into issues there, couldn't figure out what was going on, uh, and I was getting errors down in the console area. This used to say import space users, and then the slash then users.csv, and it kept giving me errors. So I just made it import, import, and now it works just fine, I hope. All right, so once I've got that in there, Everything's ready to go. I'm going to hit play and we'll see if we get any errors. All right. An attempt was made to add an object with a name that is already in use. Okay. Did I already have people in there? Maybe I did. All right. Let's go to the actual tools on my dashboard and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Oh. I actually have lots of people there from when I tested this before. So I guess what I'll do is delete everyone. And then try to re-add them. It's also important when you put your OUs from the Excel spreadsheet uh, into your Active Directory that you put them directly under your main server. Okay, in this case, mine's win.namastetaste.com. I had originally placed it underneath these site one, two, three, four, underneath Namaste Taste here, uh, and this wouldn't work. So I had to, I have to figure that out how I could nest them within another organizational unit uh, using PowerShell. But for the time being, I have them nested directly underneath the main domain. All right, so let me delete all these people as well. All right. So now I have no users in Active Directory. Let's go back to my PowerShell. I will try to run this again, and we'll see what happens. Okay, all white text is usually all good. All right. And according to this, I should have put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a whole a dozen names. So let's go back into the, the server, users and computers. 
and there we go site one has one two three four people site two has four site three has one and site four also has four so now that we know that this is working what I can do is go back to my list of users and delete that CSV file and rename the copy that has all the people into just users and then I can run my PowerShell command again now we already have those users in there so I expect to see uh, orange text that tells me that a user account with blah 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 already exists and again because there's a whole bunch of duplicates in that Excel file I'm gonna see a lot of those about 300 if I counted right let's hit this there they go all right all right I don't know what this file uh, error is right here the two that are in red that's interesting those ones but for right now everything is going through and this can take a while so I guess one way I could have alleviated the user already exists in Active Directory would be to also incorporate the middle initial for a lot of these users names but if you've looked through that Excel spreadsheet um, a lot of these users don't have a middle initial we could easily create some sort of um, formula in Excel that would automatically fill in the you the middle name with random text or even people's first names from the cell below them as their middle names just stuff like that but this was just really a test I think and can we import a mass amount of users and there we go once we get the uh, the white text at the bottom that is the end of it and if I go back into my server tools active directory users and computers I can check all my sites site 1 yep site 2 site 3 site 4 and all my users have names passwords and they're just there so PowerShell is real powerful I and mean, we could have added a whole bunch of more options if you actually look at the PowerShell window itself on the right side it lists all the different actions I guess you could say in uh, PowerShell that you could have added so if I wanted to uh, assign a printer to a user they could have been assigned a printer and it's cool they tell you the actual details of everything too all right exactly how you would or I'm sorry you input the details in it exactly how you'd want it configured and then once you fill that out you could hit insert and it would insert it into uh, the window down here but that's it that's how I inserted a whole bunch of users into Active Directory with Excel and PowerShell thanks